Hello, my name is Dan Brandenstein. As a space shuttle astronaut, I served as the pilot of STS-8 on board Challenger and mission commander of STS-51G on Discovery, STS-32 on Columbia, and STS-49, the maiden flight of Endeavour. I was also inducted into the Astronaut Hall of Fame in 2003. Today I am here on behalf of the Astronaut Scholarship Foundation Board of Directors to announce the 2015 inductees to the United States Astronaut Hall of Fame. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the Astronaut Hall of Fame, and I'm proud to announce that four candidates have been selected for induction into this prestigious group. Dr. John Grunsfield, Steve Lindsay, Kent Reiminger, and Dr. Ray Seddon. The induction ceremony will be held on Saturday, May 30th at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex in Florida. The public is invited to join us for the ceremony to welcome these very accomplished men and women into the U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame. Dr. John Grunsfeld is a veteran of five space shuttle missions, including three missions to repair Hubble Space Telescope. On STS-125 aboard Atlantis, the fifth and final Hubble servicing mission, Grunsfeld performed three of the five spacewalks, spending nearly 21 hours upgrading and repairing the telescope. This mission made history as the first time that two scientific instruments were surgically repaired in the telescope while it was in orbit. Throughout his career, Grunsfeld has logged more than 58 days in space, including 58 hours and 30 minutes on eight spacewalks. Dr. Grunsfeld was selected by NASA as an astronaut in 1992. Throughout his astronaut career, he has played a key role in developing advanced technology initiatives for the space shuttle, the International Space Station, as well as leading other astronauts in spacewalking and robotics. From 2003 to 2004, he served as NASA's chief scientist, where he helped develop the president's vision for space exploration. Dr. Grunsfield currently serves as the associate administrator of the Science Mission Directorate at NASA headquarters in Washington, D.C. A native of Chicago, Grunsfield received a Bachelor of Science degree in physics from Massachusetts Institute of Technology as well as a master's and PhD in physics from the University of Chicago. The U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame is proud to welcome Dr. John Grunsfeld. Steve Lindsay is a veteran of five space shuttle missions and has logged more than 1,510 hours in space. He serves as a pilot of two space shuttle flights and mission commander on three, including STS-121, which tested new equipment and procedures to increase the safety of the space shuttle missions. He also commanded STS-133, the 39th and final mission of Space Shuttle Discovery, during which Lindsay and his crew delivered crucial components to the International Space Station, including Robonaut 2, or R2, the first human-like robot in space. Lindsay was selected as an astronaut by NASA in 1995. In addition to his mission duties, he served many roles during his 16-year career, including deputy for space shuttle operations, and co-chair of the Space Shuttle Cockpit Council. He also served as Chief of International Space Station Operations for the Astronaut Office and as Chief of the Astronaut Office. Lindsay retired from NASA in 2011. A native of Arcadia, California, the former resident of Temple City, Lindsay received a Bachelor of Science degree of engineering from the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and received a Master of Science degree in aeronautical engineering from the Air Force Institute of Technology in Dayton, Ohio. The U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame is proud to welcome astronaut Steve Lindsay. Kent Reiminger is a five-time space shuttle astronaut who has logged more than 1,600 hours in space. Reiminger flew as pilot on three space shuttle flights and mission commander on two, including STS-96 onboard Discovery, the first ever docking of the space shuttle to the International Space Station. This mission delivered four tons of logistics and supplies in preparation for the arrival of the first space station crew. Reiminger visited the space station again on STS-100 aboard Endeavour, when he and his crew installed the Canadian-built robotic arm and the Raffaello logistics module, completing the most complex robotics flight in the history of the space shuttle program. He was selected by NASA as an astronaut in 1992 and remained with the agency until 2006. During this time, he also served as head of the Astronaut Office Shuttle Operations Branch, Deputy Director of Flight Crew Operations, and Chief of the Astronaut Office. A native of Del Norte, Colorado, Rominger received his Bachelor of Science degree in Civil Engineering from Colorado State University, and a Master of Science degree in Aeronautical Engineering from the U.S. Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey, California. 
the former naval aviator, is also a veteran of Operation Desert Storm. The U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame is proud to welcome astronaut Ken Rominger. Dr. Ray Seddon is a three-time space shuttle astronaut. She was selected by NASA in 1978 as one of the first six women to enter the astronaut program. Seddon served as a mission specialist on STS-51D onboard Discovery and STS-40 on Columbia. In her final flight, STS-58 on Columbia, Seddon was a payload commander in charge of all the science activities. This life science research flight was recognized by NASA as one of the most successful and efficient space lab missions ever flown. In all, Seddon has spent a total of 30 days in space. During her NASA career, she took additional roles in a number of areas, including orbiter and payload software development, support crew member for STS-6, membership of NASA's Aerospace Medical Advisory Committee, and crew communicator, CAPCOM, in the Mission Control Center. She also played a key role in the preparation of cardiovascular experiments, which flew on the NeuroLab Space Lab flight, STS-90 onboard Columbia. Dr. Seddon retired from NASA in 1997. Born in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, Seddon earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in Physiology from the University of California, Berkeley, and a Doctorate of Medicine from the University of Tennessee College of Medicine. The U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame is proud to welcome Dr. Ray Seddon. The 2015 candidates will be inducted into the U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame on May 30th at a public ceremony at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. This year's class of inductees marks the 14th group of space shuttle astronauts named to the Hall of Fame. The addition of Grunsfield, Lindsay, Rominger, and Seddon bring the total of Hall of Fame members to 91. The elite group is comprised of Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, Skylab, and space shuttle astronauts, including well-known space explorers such as Alan Shepard, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, Bob Crippen, John Young, Charlie Bolden, Bob Cabana, and many, many others. Each year, inductees are selected by a committee of Hall of Fame astronauts, former NASA officials, flight directors, historians, and journalists. The process is administered by the Astronaut Scholarship Foundation. To be eligible, an astronaut must have made his or her first flight at least 17 years before the induction. Candidates must be U.S. citizens and a NASA-trained commander, pilot, or mission specialist who has orbited the Earth at least once. The United States Astronaut Hall of Fame was first conceived in the 1980s by the six surviving Mercury astronauts who sought to create a place where space travelers could be remembered. Their dream was realized in 1990 when the Hall of Fame attraction was opened in Titusville, Florida, outside the gates of Kennedy Space Center. Today, the Astronaut Scholarship Foundation serves as a consultant for the Hall of Fame. The mission of the Astronaut Scholarship Foundation is to aid the United States in remaining the world leader in science technology by providing scholarships to extraordinary college students who exhibit motivation, imagination, and exceptional performance in these fields, and to facilitate programs to educate the public about the impact and importance of STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and math. ASF awards merit-based scholarships to the best and brightest students pursuing science, technology, engineering, and math. The prestigious astronaut scholarship is known nationwide for being among the highest value scholarships awarded to undergraduate STEM students. Since its inception, ASF has awarded over $4 million in scholarships to more than 370 of the nation's top scholars.